Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. In this video, we will discuss AngularJS introduction and all the basic concepts that are used for developing web application using AngularJS tutorial. AngularJS is a JavaScript framework which is used to build your web applications. You can either create new application or you can implement the AngularJS concepts in your existing applications. This JavaScript framework is designed and developed by the company that is Google. AngularJS is an open source front-end web application framework, which means any, any developer can use, change, and shape it according to his website requirement. Many websites are made till now using AngularJS and they are all an excellent websites. You can check all the websites on the AngularJS site. In the next slide, we will discuss with the, about the core features of the AngularJS. The core features of the AngularJS is data binding, scopes, dependent injections, and directives. Now we will discuss all of them one by one. So the first feature is data binding. Data binding is an important feature of AngularJS. So in the earlier times when we create a text property, we need, it to, we need to bind it with the view. And whenever there is a change in the model, we need to go to the view and we need to change the view, pro view property. So there was no synchronization between both of them. In the Angular JS, uh, the Angular JS provides us the two-way binding. So that means there is a proper synchronization between the model and the view. So in this two-way data binding, when the model changes, the view reflects the change. And when the data in the view changes, the model is also updated automatically at that time. This happens immediately and automatically when the mu and the model change or update at any times. The second feature that we'll discuss is the scopes. As we all know that AngularJS consists of three major parts. One is a view, which is actually the HTML. Second is the model, which is the data that available for the current view. And third is a controller. Which, is, which holds the JavaScript functions and controls that all the data. Then the scope that we are discussing is actually the model. So the scope is a binding part between the HTML view and the JavaScript controller. The scope is the actual thing that is available to both view and controller. So when we are making a controller for the AngularJS, we will pass scope object as an argument that will Act like, act like a glue between the controller and the view. We will see all the practical scenarios in the next videos about the scopes. So the next topic we will discuss is dependency injection. Dependency injection is an important and a big concept in AngularJS. But I'll try to you know give you a summary in this video to understand what actually they are in a brief. So AngularJS the dependencies are injected in the controller or maybe any any year so that we can use you know the features of them so in a simple nutshell if we want to get the data from a controller or to post anything in the controller we need an http service so that's the best example that i can give right now in a tutorial that uh, an http service we, we introduce that as an we inject that in a controller and we'll we'll try we'll you know use that HTTP service to post and get the data. So that, that is a main concept of dependency injection. So the next feature is AngularJS directives. So these are my favorite ones. So AngularJS gave us, gave us the functionality to extend our HTML with the new attributes. AngularJS has set off built-in directives like ng-app, which initialize the AngularJS application ng init which initializes the application data and ng model which binds the html controls to the application data we can also create our own directives so if you see in my example i have created a directive that is that names like dinesh directive so that directive we can use anywhere in any html tag like in the div i just declared the dinesh directive and that will do a custom that will implement the custom logic for me whatever i should write in that that directive that will work so these are the overview of the directives 
In the next slide, we will discuss AngularJS component. As we discussed in directive that there are three major components of AngularJS are ng-app, ng-model, and ng-bind. ng-app is the main, uh, main directive, built-in directive, which links the application to an HTML. ng-model is actually works with your data and your HTML controls. And ng-bind will bind your data to the HTML tags. So these are the components of AngularJS. So this was all the introduction of the AngularJS. We will discuss all the practical concepts in the next video.